on you guys, my name is Ben Cannon and if you haven't already read the title, I got sponsored. So today we're gonna go pick up the parts and then I'm really excited. I'm not gonna be taking the Mustang because it might be raining and I'm not trying to get stuck in a downpour on the freeway. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, we finally made it. We're in the parking lot behind Alden American and let's go check it out. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, dude? Thank you for inviting me down here. Anytime, good to see you. All right, man, do you wanna explain to me what you're hooking me up with? Yeah, Ben, we got them right here. This is the front Mustang kit for the 65 to 73 Ford Mustang. This is our V8 small block kit. Here's one of our single adjustable shocks. So awesome. Yeah, you've got the 450 pound springs, um, single adjustable, ride height adjustable. It's gonna lower that thing down and uh, Make it ride Go around like some corners make now. It, make it ride like a new Mustang. Right? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank yeah. you, man. Hey, nice hey, meeting you. And good seeing you. Thank you so much. Right on, I can't man. wait to make the video and install them on my yeah. car. Looking forward to it. All right, we got my whole trunk filled up with Alden stuff. We got shirts, stickers. We got the coilovers and the shocks. I'm so excited to put these on my car. All right guys, I thought we'd do a little bit more in-depth unboxing, so let's check it out. There we go. Look at these, these look so sick. It's so cool that they're all made in America too, but I wish you were able to see this once it's in my car, like it looks so beautiful. So I'm really curious on how much better my car is gonna handle after I put these on. Like right now my car handles okay compared to other old cars I've been in, but the thing lacking a lot of my car is the tires. Like, the bias plies have no performance whatsoever, but I don't know, these look pretty promising. So this goes on top of the shock tower and look how beefy and sturdy this is. Compared to the old ones, it's super thin and not at all sturdy at all. So here we have a new bag of nuts and bolts and I don't know, there's something about like when you put new parts on a car that just looks so cool. Like when you go underneath a car and like someone put like a sway bar or something and all like the nuts and bolts are all brand new, it looks, it looks really cool. There's just something about it. And then we got some strange tool. I don't know what this is used for. Maybe for hooking people or something. Maybe I should read the instructions, but I don't know. It looks like one of those like Russian things that the farmers use and they like they cut like the wheat or whatever. <laughs> so that's pretty much everything in this box. It's just all front suspension. So let's move to the next box. All right. These boxes are really cool. All right, here's the rear suspension. So unfortunately, no coilovers in this box. You'd have to do a lot of modifications on my car to run coilovers in the rear. Um, so right here, we just have some traditional shocks and they look really nice, really high quality. And I like how they put the little sticker there, even though you won't be able to see it in the car, but it's still cool. In here, we have like a little bag of hardware and stuff, but these parts look really sturdy. Like, look at that, super thick. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing an install video on those two parts probably in like the next two weeks or so. And that should be a lot of fun. And they make these kits for like all old cars, so go check them out. I'll put their um, website in my um, description. So I also wanted to make a quick announcement that I'm going to be at TROG in California, specifically Santa Barbara, March 9th and March 10th, and it's going to be really sick. They're racing um, pre-60 cars, I believe, on this one street that's like right in front of the beach, and it's going to be really cool. They're going to be drag racing them. So I'm going to be filming there. I'll bring out my car. If you're there, Hit me up on Instagram. I'll, I'm gonna bring some clothes and stuff, so I'll give you like a little discount, and maybe I'll even give you a ride in my car. So my dad is actually gonna be drag racing bad news at that race, and the car's not running right now. He's working on it in the garage. So let's go check it out, and hopefully he's gonna make some progress, because it'd be really cool if he races it out there. All right, Dad, do you have an update? Of what's going on with bad news, or? Is it gonna make it to the drag race or what? Uh, I'm not sure at this point, but uh, I went through and I basically there was a, I don't know if it's a head gasket leak, a small head gasket leak or something. But anyway, I drained the oil um, and the oil looked pretty good. It wasn't that bad. I took out the plugs and I turned it over and a little bit of water came out of this cylinder here and a little bit came out of that side. But the original problem was that we saw a little bit of coolant coming out of the headers. header. Okay, so anyway, then I did all that. I've gotten all the water out, I drained the oil. Um, then I went through and I, I retorqued the heads to make sure that they were torqued down the proper amount. And they were actually like a little bit loose. So I tightened all those up and then I inspected all this and 
some of the rocker and some of there was like a little bit of surface rust in there so I cleaned all that um, now we got to get new valve cover gaskets which was easy but like Sorry. see there's a little bit of water right there That's I don't know good. I was just you know I was cleaning this side and then I noticed like there was a little bit of water coming out of by the bottom of the carburetor over here. This is a 6-2 setup with the um, Stromberg 48 carburetors, but um, it's not running all of them. So anyway, so this one here, I decided to take it off, and when I looked in at the, through the top, um, you can, it looked okay, but then I was like, wow, uh, it looks like there's a little bit of stuff in there, or a little water maybe. So I took it off, and then I took the whole thing apart, and then I, there was actually like, a bunch of water stuck inside the carburetor and then it was actually <laughs> leaking into the manifold. Great. So I'm thinking that the water, the clear water that I saw on this side of the engine, maybe it's coming, it was coming from this. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking, I'm checking all the linkage and uh, making sure all the carburetors, everything's tight. And then I'm gonna take off the other rear carb uh, and see if that has water in it. The transmission I think is okay. I got that sorted out. And then you have like, like your clutch was like shuddering or? Yeah, I have all the stuff. I need to take that, clean the clutch and put a new gasket on that. So when are you gonna have time for that? I don't know. At this point, I'm just having fun learning on it. And if it gets done, like we got the bug running. And yeah, go check out that video if you guys didn't see that, right? Yeah, that was a really so, funny video. Um, anyway, it's just, we're making progress on everything, but I don't know if, I mean, it could totally be done in time. I just don't know if, if I have it in me to stay up late hours, like, should do it. Some of these other guys are doing. Come on. But, You're well, not I'm, 60 yet. I know. I'm getting older. We're going to try and get it back together and then possibly put in some of the sealant stuff, like a liquid sealant, and see if that helps it. Not as a permanent fix, but also I've heard some of that stuff works really good if it's not that big of a leak. Because the whole, all the water that was in there, or the coolant that was um, coming out of the, the header, it, was hard, it wasn't that much. That's why I thought it was just a condensation or something originally, because it was just like a like a quarter size drop on the ground. So my dad's friend Coop was really nice and he gave us his welder, which is really cool. He moved to um, Texas, specifically Austin, and he left Burbank, which is pretty sad. But he's a pretty well-known artist, but he left a lot of uh, graphic stickers, <laughs> which are pretty funny. I don't know how to weld at all, so I'm really excited to start practicing and I wanna do my whole firewall. Like I have a bunch of holes in it and they all need to be filled up and probably a lot of things that we could use this for so that's really cool now that the welder is ours we have to make it a four speed welder so i'm going to put my sticker on it and i don't know if you guys know but i sell these for two dollars on my website so i'll put the link in my description but this has to go on so hopefully my dad will be able to get bad news back on the road before this friday because we're actually heading up to santa barbara on friday so if not it's cool there's gonna be a lot of cool cars up there and i'll have my car up there we'll we'll be cruising around so if you see me out there hit me up on instagram it would be really cool to meet one of you guys so see you guys there